So, episode 20, uh, season 25, the very next episode. Uh, what to expect when Bart's expecting. Jesus in Christ, what even this episode the fuck? Seriously, that's all I can think to say. It's just, this episode is dumb. Beyond dumb. The word for it escapes me. Could be atrocious. I'm trying to think if there's a word further up the scale. Catastrophic, maybe. Just, this may, this is probably one of the, <clears throat> one of the sort of the worst episodes. It's not funny. Not really. There's, there are some jokes, there's some stuff that we laugh, but not enough that really can't, that holds it together. The plot line is dumb, because it literally contradicts itself. And it's just, it's like they've got no fucking clue. It's like, the last episode, alright, it was okay. The episode uh, 19 was fine, you know, find the, um, the Days of Future Future. What even was this? I, I don't even know. It's starting off the episode, there's several of the, sort of, the bars in the area. So to have a superhero-themed pub crawl, thus they can get money in and get people dressed up and just drinking. And as you can guess, yes, it doesn't go perfectly well. Tomer gets drunk, ends up passed out on the lawn. Pretty standard fare. Of course, once again, that has nothing to do with the rest of the episode, despite how they try to tie it in later. It really doesn't, because you could once again have skipped that entirely, and it wouldn't matter to the rest of the episode. So you basically then have Bart, Bart and Lisa go to school. Lisa is barely in this episode, so I don't really know why they need to show both Bart and Lisa when Lisa shows up again at the end. It has nothing to do with the episode. Um, and so he goes to school, and oh, there's this art teacher who I don't think we've seen before. It certainly seems like she's a you know just she's a one-off character. She's there to play this one role, and then she's going to be gone, which is always the thing I actually really think is a terrible way for them to 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 do in the episode. I always feel like if you're going to introduce character, how that character reappear? How that character actually seems like they're going to be a character, or not just that there are one note. The one dimensional character is barely even going to be there. But she's there, and she's this overly chipper sort of art teacher who's very encouraging, very good, which is, you know, the complete opposite to the art teachers I had in high school. <laughs> God, if you were not good at art, they just did not care. Um, actually, even if you were good at art, they didn't care, but that, that was my high school. And so Bart is annoyed by this because he doesn't like art, which is, you know, fine. But. Who, why Why do we care? Why do we care at that point? So he basically wants to find a way to get rid of her. And now, of course, you could think, oh, so they're doing that plot line that they did early on in The Simpsons, where Bart thought he accidentally got uh, Principal Skinner killed. Which is a great episode. Actually, that is a great, great episode. I can't remember what the name of that episode is. But it is a good, it's a really, really good episode, and the, the reveal of that is really good as well. But no, no, he does this. He gets he gets rid of the art teacher by speaking to this girl Shauna, who I get from other episodes I've seen is a ca is a new character, and I'd say the bunny quotes is new um, because saying that she's a new character is a little over the top. She's not really well. It doesn't seem to be. I, I imagine that once I see the episode where she's introduced, it might be a bit more sensible. But she apparently is just this bad girl sort of character, like hangs around with Kearney, Jimbo and Dolph. And she's the daughter to Superintendent Chalmers. Why? I don't know. I don't know what that point is. I don't know why they've introduced this one character who could have been replaced with any other character. It's truly, there were about 50 different other characters I could easily have said I could just replace her with. But she tells him, Oh, well, you can, I know of this uh, voodoo practitioner. Apparently there's a voodoo practitioner in fucking Springfield. Okay, do to me. And so, and then she kisses Bart, and that's to piss off Superintendent Chalmers. She knows it. That goes nowhere. There's just like this one scene, and then they come up again, another scene, and it just it doesn't add anything. It's nothing to do with anything. So there's this voodoo practitioner, and he gets a voodoo spell, and it's basically just supposed to be... It's that... It's it's very basic sort of voodoo. It's the most cliche voodoo. It's oh, you do this spell, 
and something bad will happen. He basically just wants to have to have a have the teacher have a stomach ache so she can't teach. And so yeah, it seems to work because so she's not in the next day. However, she then comes in and uh, and Bart thinks, oh no, my plans have uh, been foiled. But she announces, oh no, she does have something wrong with her, and it will force her to stop teaching. She's pregnant. Now, of course, in my head, you being pregnant doesn't really force you to stop teaching. Not for a while, at least. Now, of course, in true Simpsons fashion, Bart then thinks that he's done this. And despite the fact that in the very next scene after that, where they have two separate characters, say, Bart got a teacher pregnant, which, you know, should raise a whole host of other questions, a lot of logistical ones in that regard, uh, he goes to his pizza principal skin and says, of course you haven't, you need to do that. However, despite the fact the episode brings that up, and obviously states the fact that there is no possible way he could have caused it, the rest of the episode plays out as if he has! And he plays it out as if he has! Despite being told, no! There isn't a possible way! So the episode brings up the fact that this can't possibly be true, but then carries on the rest of it like it is! I can understand if it was an entirely like different set of circumstances, if just pure accidental uh, coincidences had coalesced into this thing that made it seem like Bart was the cause. But this is not. This is literally people from around, I don't know if they're meant to be around the country, because that's kind of how it seems to be, but then these two other people turn up and ask him to do the same for them. Why? And then he's got a business. Now, admittedly, you know, once again with this sort of the show at this point, it doesn't matter because about five minutes into this plotline being uh, carried on, Homer finds out, stops it, and that's that. And you go, oh, okay. And then they, you know, they try and bring up this whole thing of like, oh, well, if Homer was a better role model, maybe Bart wouldn't be doing stuff like this, bloody, bloody, blah. You know, the same things that they brought up in previous episodes, because, by God, at this point, we're just repeating ourselves, aren't we? Both me and the show. So, you know, a lot in common there. <laughs> Fat Tony brings them in. And which does actually have one of the best lines, just there. I, I did enjoy this joke, though. It's just that Homer, so, you know, Homer goes, Fat Tony, and he goes, that's right, Fat Homer. Yeah, and he's, hey... It's just, yeah, it's a good moment. Despite the fact that, depending on when this episode takes place, technically this might not actually be the actual Fat Tony, but the Fat Tony that replaced Fat Tony. Because that happened in an episode. I don't know when in the... I don't know if that's later season or earlier season, but that did happen. Tony had a brother who replaced him, who was called Fit Tony, who basically looked like him but was athletic, and then just re-became Fat Tony. Because, heaven help us, that we change the status quo of the show. But basically he comes to him and he says, oh, well, I want you to uh, to get my horse this, oh, I've got this uh, horse, I wish to make a champion thoroughbred with this other horse that I've stolen. I want you to make me a baby. That's what it is. And he just because the was like, what even, Fat Tony? Why? Why would you think? Fat Tony is meant to be one of the smarter characters in The Simpsons. Certainly high up on the sort of the intelligence. Why would he think that's right? Why would he think that's a good idea? I can understand it being other people. I can understand it being Cletus. That's the thing that baffles me there. Why Fat Tony, why not have it be Cletus who wants that to happen? Because that would make far more sense to have the character who is supposed to be an idiot and would believe that black magic was real instead of a person who shouldn't believe that that's real because he's an intelligent person. So that's the thing, once again, it's just the substitution. They made that one small change. It seems far more plausible within the world of The Simpsons. So then, so they basically, they try and do it, and they try and they make one small attempt, you know, same as the show's been doing. And But then they discover that the horse that uh, Fat Tony wants it to breed with is gay. Now, in my head, horse breeding, not really that tricky if the horse, even if the horse was gay. Just to put that out there on that thing. Because, surely, 
And this is, you know, because they never explain, like, oh, the horse has been having trouble getting the filly pregnant. It's not that, it's just, oh, I want you to have these two horses mate. Don't know why he's not taking it to a vet. Or something like that, and try to do it that way. You'd think he'd have connections, but no, just, you know, we need to keep this idiotic plotline running, so we're going to keep the plotline running. And so then, and this, this is the problem once again, it's very, um, it's so quick. It's so, that's the issue, the major problem with this episode, it's just, it's so quick that he just bounces to the next plot point. Then they discovered that, oh no, there's this other horse in the stable, which the female horse is actually attracted to, who Homer knew from a child because he was a horse that was um, part of the Duff beer campaign, which doesn't really make any sense because we know that Homer drank his first beer at 16 because there was a whole song about it, and the fact that we know that Homer didn't actually grow up in Springfield because of other previous episodes. But it's one of those things where, okay, well, what continuity do we want to follow? Do we want to follow the original continuity that the earlier series put up, or just whatever continuity we want to make up, and they would choose to you know, cosmetically make up. Then, for some reason, and I don't get this, it goes into a Les Mis style song, and it's definitely Les Mis, because Bart is dressed up like the. Uh, I was trying to think of his name. It's the kid who gets killed. And he's dressed like that. Homer's dressed up as. I don't quite know. I'm guessing it's a reference to a different version of Les Mis. But they go into this big song, and for no reason, I don't know why if they, you know, if they want to do a music episode, do a music episode, I don't know quite why they slip into this, oh, let's t- go and do Les Mis. And so they have they have that, and then the horse ends up, uh, does end up doing what it needs to do, you know, they find out it's pregnant, cuts to a year later, and... They have the rest of the Simpsons family talking to the horses for no reason. They've not really been in the episode at that point. I think literally they just wanted to make sure every one of the cast got paid for that episode. And then this is the problem, because then they make this joke where it's like, it's obvious that the family is very, you know, okay, we're going to treat horses like humans, fine, sort of way that the... Dad, that Sudsley, the horse that's fathered the fall, uh, the fall, is sort of in a relationship with the gay horse and with the horse he got pregnant. Okay. I don't even know on that one. But then Lisa says, oh, that's what I call a modern family, which then s- slams us right into just referencing the opening of Modern Family. I haven't seen that show. I, I'm told I should. I, there's a lot of shows I should see, and I'm just not. And it's just not that funny. It's not that funny because it's like, okay, you've made a reference to a different show. I can do that. I can make references. Doesn't mean intrinsically they're funny because you've mentioned something in the popular culture. It doesn't work. And it's just... It, what's weird is that, that that's not even the end. That's the, It doesn't even, like finish up with that, and then go into the end credits. For some reason, it finishes up with that, and then it goes into, like, this tiny advert for Duff Beer with the seven pack, which is, you know, stupid, but it's Simpsons stupid, so it's like you could see them making it in The Simpsons. But it just goes into that. It just goes into that, and then the episode ends. It's like, why? Why have this joke? Why have this random joke, which shows that you obviously didn't think that Modern Family joke was funny, because you've done a second joke straight after it, with a far more entertaining character, because you've got Duffman on stage. And Duffman in any episode is usually pretty funny. Especially in the early ones. It's the way, because it's this, the, the way the characters put out. I, that is, that's the thing that bugs us, but it's, it's a dumb episode, for the fact that loads of, like, I could understand if it was Citizens of Springfield, but these just appear to be random people. So I don't get why they would all believe, oh, this boy has magic powers. It's not really social commentary at that point because it's just too short. There's not a sort of like, oh, look how silly these people are. It's just, oh no, they're fine, we continue. 
It feels like there could have been a social commentary there that people are very willing to try any thing, any any sort of a way to be able to get pregnant if they haven't been able to. And that's, you know, perfectly fine, but it doesn't bring that up. It's not that as a as a message. That's not the message of the thing. I don't I don't get what the point of this episode is supposed to be as an episode as like as a whole. I don't get the end of the episode like the point of it was to show that if you've got a horse that's gay, let it be gay? Was that the point? Is it that the relationships between families are no longer the wife, husband, wife, and 2.3 children sort of idea now? Is that it? Is it that people are so dumb they'll think voodoo is real? It's, there are some, I, I can't think of the jokes, there are some bits that did make me laugh and it's quite happen. The beginning of the episode is like a whole, once again it's that whole thing of like, oh look, we reference pop culture and it's lots of references to superhero films. Lots of very quick references, lots of little bits and pieces. But it's not funny, it really isn't. It's just, it doesn't have the heart of it, it doesn't have that feeling. It just feels like we're going to cram as many references to popular culture as we can down the throat of the viewers... And if they don't laugh, then it doesn't matter to us. They'll keep watching. And that's the issue. The, it's just not a good episode for that. It's not really that funny. The plotline is, is terrible. It is a joke we have been over and a plotline we've been over time and time again. Because we've had Homer and Bart be sort of like this, the bonding between the pair of them. I get it. They are dysfunctional as father and son. I have seen better episodes done with them as father and son to get across that point. And it's, the interesting thing has been, and I've noticed this, they don't focus on the other characters as much anymore. It's very about the Simpsons. And it didn't used to be. It used to be in the earlier episodes, there was more focus on some of the other characters who existed. You know, there's there's the whole episode that a lot of people don't talk about because, yeah, that's kind of stupid, of where you find out the Principal Skinner is not actually, actually Principal Skinner. And, yeah, it's kind of silly, but... It was a whole episode about that character. And we don't have that anymore. It's we can't. It's like they think we can't focus on somebody else. We can't world build. Because if we do, we just won't watch. But the problem is they're actually doing it themselves. Because I am what, wanting to watch less. Because the episodes aren't as good. Because they're just repeating themselves. There's no breathing room to have other, other characters fill in the time. And that's what they need. But for some reason, like with the previous episode when I think about it, is that it was all about three characters, all three Simpsons family members, and it was just about them. And it was the same sort of plotline going through all three. But I'd, I would rather see how some of the other characters were dealing with these things. They could have done a full episode with, have it be the beginning, have Bart, you know, accidentally cause a pregnancy and get everyone thinking that's what he could do. Have that be the opening. And then have it be that the you know Homer maybe taking advantage of it slightly, and that sort of relationship comes up. And then have it be that Cletus you know kidnaps them and wants them to help him uh, get this horse, have this horse be pregnant so that he can make money. Because that you know sounds like Cletus as a character to me. And have it be that Homer and Bart do bond again. Um, because they've both gone into the situation that it's Homer who's caused the situation because he's. Uh, touted it so much and caused the problem in when Bart might have maybe tried to recede, uh, sort of recede, uh, recede it and not want to be doing it. And that was how he was pushing him forward. There were better ways to tell these stories. That's what I'm saying. There were better ways to go about telling the stories. And it's so obvious sometimes to me. I don't know if it's just to me. I don't know if it's just my brain and that's how I work. And that if someone presents something towards me, I go, oh, you could change this, change this, change this. And you could do that. And it's what I like doing. It's certainly something I have a lot of fun doing. But this is the problem now, that episodes like this come along and it just shows a lack of trying. That they're, they're not thinking about how it links up, they're just going, oh, go to this, this, and this, and that's fine. What's weird is, at one point, Homer has to explain to Bart what gay is. Which doesn't make any sense. Bart knows what gay is. There's an episode entirely about that. With Homer's Homer, 
I can't remember the episode. Is it home is homophobia? Is it that homophobia? Homophobia. Homophobia. And that is all about Homer not being able to deal with the fact that someone was gay. And Bart was perfectly fine with that and understood what that meant. Bart has seen various other characters who were obviously gay and know what that meant. I don't get the point of having Homer telling him it as if he hadn't known it. I kind of get it that you want to have it so that everything's reset. But there is a point where you kind of have to say, hey, we have a long storied history. We have lots of things we could pull on and use. Why don't we? And that's actually something that baffles me with this episode, is that there are bits and pieces in this episode where you could go, hey, this could link up with this old episode or this old episode, and you could bring stuff in. And that's actually something I think The Simpsons should be doing. They should be bringing in some of maybe the older stuff, the classic stuff from The Simpsons, and using it in a new way. Because why not? What's the point in not doing that? What's the point in trying to keep it self-contained as if you don't have 25-odd seasons worth of episodes where you've got a history? I just don't... I don't get it. I don't get the reasoning. And it's the same like the, like the voodoo character they introduced briefly. She's there for like two minutes. You don't learn a name. You don't learn anything about her. She is just stereotypical old black lady who knows voodoo. And I'll say this right now. Nothing has ever been improved by adding voodoo into a subplot. I'm looking at you, Blues Brothers 2000. Nothing has ever been improved by adding voodoo into its subplot. And it's just... I don't know. You could have easily had someone else, and uh, it does feel a little cultural appropriation, given the character. You know, the Simpsons are supposed to be the white characters, and yet that's Bart doing uh, sort of uh, voodoo stuff, and it does seem a little weird in that way. I don't know. I feel I once again saying about like using other characters. I feel like they could have brought in Jenny, which if she, it's funny because you say when I say that, it's like. That's kind of possibly an obscure character in a way. It's she's the friend, one of the friends of Lisa. She's African American friend of Lisa, who you'll sometimes see in the background. And she's she was more prevalent, I think, in earlier episodes, like early seasons, where they would usually be seen together and usually be as friends and talking before they kept doing this thing of like, oh, Lisa's on her own, bloody 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 blah, and it was just that over and over again. And you could have had her be brought in. And you could have had that she knew Voodoo from having relations be in those sort of areas and sort of like New Orleans, that sort of place. It would have worked. And that's the thing that bugs me. That's, that's that thing once again. Use the characters you've got, guys. Use the characters you have who already exist. Build up your world more. Don't just go, oh, we introduced this character to fill this role. Go, oh no, we already have this character. Why not have them fill this role? It works better that way. And I just... This episode's just not good. It's just a bad episode. It's not that funny. The plotline's not that great. And that's just it. And what time are we on? We are on 26 minutes. Bloody hell. Um, so <laughs> I talked as long as the episode was. I've been repeating myself a few times. But no. This episode's just... It's no good. I wouldn't watch if you see it's on. And I have one more of these episodes to watch now. I'll probably try and do because I've got the house to myself so I can sit here and talk. Uh, but until then, I'll see you guys next time.